We're here today with Nolan from Belgard at their Solution Center talking about the most common paver patterns and how to install them. So Nolan, what are some things we need to consider when choosing a paver or a pattern? So there's a couple different things that we need to take into consideration when we're looking at pavers. First is what is the application? Uh, the most, most common is going to be your walkway, your driveway, and then we get into the outdoor living spaces as well. Once we figure out what the application is, then we can go into the size of the paver. We have everything from 3 by 3 all the way up to 24 by 36. The other thing that we're going to want to take into consideration is how big is the project. If it's a larger project and you're moving a lot of square footage, you're probably going to want to have a paver that's easier to work with versus carrying some of those heavier slabs. So once we figure out all of those factors, then we can figure out what we're going with and what material we're going to be using. So can we just create random patterns? So you can, but from an industry standpoint, it's probably not recommended. We have patterns for a reason. Uh, the first reason is structural integrity. The second is going to be waste. When we start laying randomly, if guys aren't paying attention to what pavers they're using, they're going to run out of one size before they run out of the other. So would it be more difficult to make it look good laying a random pattern? It really depends on the experience of the guy laying the pavers. What we see all too often is, is that we get three to four foot joint lines, and once we get those longer joint lines, then we start to lose some of that integrity. So what are some of the more common sizes we're using in these patterns today? So what we have on the board today are typically your most common pavers. Your 4x8, which is a Holland, no matter which manufacturer it is in the industry, it's going to be called a Holland paver. The other one's going to be your three-piece, which is a 6x9, a 6x6, and a 3x6. Depending on the manufacturer, you could probably get the 6x9 and the 6x6 on their own pallets. Okay, do you have any tips to share before we get started on these patterns? Absolutely. So the first one we're going to do is called the click and drop method. And the click and drop method is used so that you don't screw up your bedding layer underneath. We're going to take the paver, adjoin the two corners, called click, and drop. The other one is going to be when you're pulling your pavers from the pallet. You can pull it from the layer, you can pull it from the stack. We don't want contractors pulling from the layer, and the reason that is is because each layer has a different color to it. So if you're laying by the layer, then you're going to see a lot of splotchiness. When you pull it from the stack, now you're blending all of those colors together. So pull from the stack, not the layer. The other aspect that we want to talk about is the design. When we get into the outdoor living spaces, if we're designing the outdoor living space to the increments of the paver, meaning the length or the width, then we can design that space so that we reduce all of our cutting. That's some good information. So what's the first pattern we're going to start on today? So the first one that we're going to do is with our Holland paver. This is called the running bond. It is the easiest paver to lay and the most common. What we mean by running bond is that you're going to take your Holland paver and you're going to lay it half bond over the joint above it so that it splits the paver in half. A best practice would be to cut some of these pavers in half ahead of time so that you can have them for your edge restraint on the edges of the pavers. Half bond, splitting the paver in half, and your half block. So what about this one? Is this also a running bond? So this is running bond as well. This is a running bond with a three-piece pattern. We're essentially doing the same thing. We're just making sure that the joints don't line up over each other. So why don't you go ahead and hand me the square. And the rectangle. Remember the click and drop. The Twinkie. And the square. And as I mentioned, now none of our joints line up and we have a three-piece running bond. So what's up next here? So this is the Holland and this is our herringbone pattern. Uh, the herringbone pattern in the industry is going to be the strongest of the patterns when it comes to the structure of the surface. So this can be laid on a 90 or a 45. So if you want to hand me a couple of those pieces, we're just going to go over the 90 herringbone. Click and drop. Half piece. Click and drop. Click and drop. And that's your herringbone pattern. So what's this next pattern we're going to work on called? So this one that we're going to be working on is called the K pattern. This is a two-piece pattern that utilizes a 6x6 and a 6x9. So if you want to hand me two of the 6x6s, it's important to note that we're going to be using the 6x6 here when typically in the pattern it's a 6x9, but because of the limitations of the A-frame, this is what we have to work with. Click and drop. Now 
Now this K pattern is actually showing a cross. We've got two vertical and two horizontal on both sides. And there's your K pattern. So what can you tell me about this last pattern here? So this is Belgard's Dimension 6 paver. What's unique about this is that we have all of the same quantities of sizes on the pallet. So for every three by six, there's a six by six. For every six by six, there's a six by nine. Same amount of material on the pallet. So when you utilize this three piece pattern, there's no waste on the pallet. Why don't you go ahead and hand me that six by nine. We'll install this. Hand me the square. And then the Twinkie. So that L-shaped pattern starts here, works its way up, and then continues across, and that's your L-shaped pattern. Thanks for that demonstration, Owen. For those looking for more patterns, where can they go to find that? All of our patterns can be found on bellguard.com. There's a unique tab for contractors. If they click that drop-down, they'll have access to all of our resource guides for all of the different markets. A wide variety of pavers and colors, as well as tools and accessories to get the job done, can be found at your local Ewing branch or online at ewingoutdoorsupply.com.